Okay, I just want to describe the uh, scripts that I wrote called uh, 10 4 Step. I'll put a link in the description to, uh, to get a hold of it and a link to the forum post where I kind of describe more of the details about it and all that stuff. And maybe I'll put some updates there as well. Uh, the basic idea is just to have kind of a more control over step recording. So the idea here is I want to be able to play some stuff on the keyboard, and then when I find a good voicing that I like, I can enter it into the project uh, by running an action. So once again, I'm going to find a voicing, hold it down, hit a key, which runs a script, and you see that the edit cursor is moved. The grid size has changed. In this case, it's uh, changed to a uh, quarter note. And the notes are entered in there in the velocities that they were played on the keyboard. Uh, this is just like the finale quick edit uh, method, which I find super convenient. Um, so let's just try a few more examples here. I'm going to just fill out this measure with some random stuff. Um, let's do a dotted quarter note. So I enter a quarter note there. Now while I continue to hold down those notes, I hit the dot key. You can see once again the grid changes to uh, eighth note now. And so it makes it very easy to kind of move around in the rhythmic context uh, where I'm recording. Add an eighth note and maybe a half note. Well, that's not so interesting, but. Let's just try something real quick. If I delete all that stuff, go back. Let's try one more little feature of this thing. Um, let's enter a quick chord, just a quarter note there. Now, as I'm holding it down, uh, I can use the arrow keys to adjust the length of that of the note that I'm that I'm holding there. And that's the same. That's very similar to this to the way the step recording is done in Ableton Live. Uh, and there's a custom action then for that that I've kind of used, that I've mapped to the arrow keys to replace the default ones. All right, just one last thing, um, just to show that that doesn't only work in the media, uh, the MIDI editor, it also works actually in the arranging view, which I think is really helpful if you have a big arrangement, you're listening, you feel like there needs to be, you know, a, a quick triangle or something, a little detail in there, and you really don't want to spend the clicks to uh, create a new MIDI clip and uh, to, to go into the editor. Right here on the timeline, I can actually just select the track, put my edit cursor in the right place, hold down my chord, hit my button. The MIDI, the take is actually created and the notes are inserted. And from this view, I still have all the same control uh, that I have in the MIDI editor as well. So let's try a couple of those features. I'm going to enter a dotted quarter note, for example. So I enter a quarter note, hit the dot key, and I've got to enter that. I can enter a, a rest just by not playing any notes, hitting the, hitting the duration button there. And then I can just continue to use the arrow keys as well to change the duration of that note. Uh, that's about it.